Welcome back to Chippo Fishing, land-based boat maintenance. Yeah, waiting on that trolling motor to get fixed. Um, so we have found for new lower unit, it's running really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my prop. My prop has gotten a lot of burrs on it. Uh, some nicks. And you can, uh, if you got a bubble here, a little small, tiny brass, tap, 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 tap. Uh, you can file it down, but you file it down, you're going to take some material. This blade here, I have actually filed down and through multiple times. It's gotten shorter. That's what it does. So I have a replacement prop. Solus, um, Solus Amida, and it's a 12.25, 15 inch prop. This is a 13 spline on my shaft, 13 splines, and you will need to flatten out your cotter pin which I've already taken off uh, how to take the cotter pin off easy is uh, you flatten the the part that's turned up flatten it up or get it flat put your cutting dikes in here and then you gently tap it out with your hammer <laughs> okay so after doing that, you're going to need an inch and sixteenth socket. Uh, they do make some plastic ones, which are floatable. So for doing that. Now then, let me tell you a little bit about props for my research. Okay, 12.25, that's the diameter. The radius is from the center to here. So if you measure that to the outside b6 see it's hard, hard to measure that but um and getting the diameter which is distance around which would be 12 and a quarter be somewhere around there so but all this has been measured later after you put it back you're gonna have a block of wood put in here to help crank down on it hold the, actually hold the blade now like i said i had nicks and all that but i did have was able to find out there's a difference here in where this would touch here and touch here and spin around and not touch there so, you know, there, it's not a big difference, but it can cause two things. It eventually will wobble the shaft, possibly, which you need to take care of lower units. They're pretty pricey. And the second thing is it can cause cavitation. Now, what is cavitation? Let's think of water moving through here as a fluid material. If this air bubbles, which can cause from nicks and cuts and shorter propeller blades, cause air bubbles. The air bubbles remove this fluid material passing through it as no longer a solid. It's solid with bubbles in it, which is going to affect the way your propeller actually turns. Now, I replaced it, replacing it with a Solus. They have several different types. They have aluminum and stainless steel. This is the Amida. And the Amida already has the center part pressed in, ready to go, 13 splines, ready to slide in. Now, uh, a little bit about pitch. So this is 12 and a half 
inch diameter and the pitch is the curvature of your blade your angle of your blade and that's 15 which means for each turn 360 degree turn of the propeller it's supposed to push through the water 15 inches 12 inch would push it 12 inches and it's a combination of your weight your speed your rpms of your motor and getting that sweet spot so that's why you hear people i had to change my propeller for my top end for my whole shot which means starting getting up the plane okay so with that being said um there's a little formula in there for the pitch and your rpms matching together find that sweet spot me i was sort of lucky uh for 12 and a half inch they only had or 12.25 inches diameter they only had the 15 inch prop but you can contact these guys or the guys at iBoating and they'll walk you through your choice. They even on their website, they even have a find my prop portion. So let's go ahead and get down to this and do a quick, quick change up. Let's give it a try. And technically, all your, uh, these should be torqued. But the torque is between 40, 45 to 55, depending on your manufacturer specs. I don't know that. So um, I'm just going to put it back tight. Now, again, your cotter pin goes through a hole here and through a hole there. So you're going to have to either do a little bit more or less to find that. Now, you can use that wood to block it up or you can just hold it. And let's see if we can just hold it. Yep, 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 yep. That was not very tight at all. But that cotter pin holds it. So, with that being said, and these are pretty much all brass that you're going to find. You can get by a replacement kit as well when you buy your prop. So... So put your things where they won't get lost or dropped. And this castle nut looks like it, the old castle in the medieval ages. Um, Going to come through. There should be a washer on the outside. Notice it has a similar, similar like that. I did buy a replacement kit, but I don't think I really need that. And you may have to, you know, just gently tap on this. This, because my lower unit was worked on, came off pretty easy. There we go. So here's our old one. And then we've got this spacer. It comes off. And if you notice, there's a beveled side here to step that in. So that goes there. And you do want to grease on this. Um, looks like we've got plenty of good grease there and we're gonna slot our new propeller in okay so here we go and we line it up until it gets right there which was not that difficult okay next we're gonna take our part here and we're going to put it back. Here's a little, uh, another little tip. If your cotter pin is bent or something, you can take your little hammer, put it on a flat surface, and tap it back into a straighter position. Okay, so again, we're gonna take this, line it back up, And the castle part, we're going to line that back up, put it on. 
See, this can actually be done, rather not, but be done on the water. So we're gonna get it, try to get it right. And we're gonna make it easy on ourselves. We're gonna try to figure out where these little holes are on the shaft. Okay, here's our hole right here. So it'll go through there. So let's get it. That's where the shaft is going to be. I'm going to put it here. Use an old block of wood or something that will be able to tighten it down. We're going to go. 45 to 50 pounds of torque which is snug and a little more there we go I think that's about right now if we've done it right we can just slide this pin in but in reality oh you it may take a turn or two so um Now let's try to tap it through. Okay, so we've had to twist it a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but here is the hole right here. You can put your cotter pin in if you have it lined in correctly. It'll go down. And then we're going to tap it down and through or push it through. may have to tap it. Ah, uh, let's see what we've got to tap with. Okay. We may just have to hold on to it similar to how we got it out and tap, tap it through. Now we're going to turn this and give it a little love tap. Again, this is not a hammer. And you want your cotter pin to come into the rest of in between the castles. There we go. Now we're either going to take some your duck bill or your, let's see if we can get this in here. You may have to use a small screwdriver to go in, possibly to separate the two of them. Okay, we're gonna twist it, and then we're gonna, I think that's got it. Gonna get it and we'll and that my friend is how the prop turns. So between the lower unit being rebuilt and a new prop, I think we're gonna be good. Um, the old prop. I'm saving that because you never know when you're gonna gonna need that. So there you go. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope this helps some of y'all. And um, questions, comments, get back to me. I don't know it all, but I'm trying to learn as I go. Thanks, folks. Peace.